presence of uh, ministers of God nowadays, they are fake. Uh, I'm a member of Christ for all souls. A member of Christ Jesus himself. Uh, first, I want to introduce the, the founder of this church. Uh, the owner and the finishers of everything, the GO. We only have a GO in this church, which is uh, Christ for all souls. With the Christ himself, with the God of white corn. I introduce the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord. I am that I am, which is the founder of which I be a servant, saint to uh, oversee what he sent us to. But he is the general overseer, Christ Jesus himself. I, I call him God of white corn. That the first person we are introducing. And uh, I am prophet Isike, a prophet from Christ for us ministry by the greater grace of God representing the president in this church. This Christ for us and we have our branches all over all over across the world. Uh, the church headquarters just been moved to Lagos. Uh, our assembly, our district headquarters here in Naja, that's where we are for now, but in a typical of an ice, in a short time, we move to where Solution Center will be at Ikodon, Ikoton, Egbeda, Ashes. That's where Solution uh, Ek, uh, Grant will be. That is the headquarters. Where we have been, we are in uh, Modaike, we are in uh, Osogbo, we are in Ekiti. Akure, Abuja, and now we have our people in the diaspora too. We are in everywhere, but the headquarters of the church has moved to Lagos now, and we have various assembly in Lagos. I want to appreciate God Himself. Uh, thank God for that question. Thank God for how you put the question that I am being used. Christ is the founder and is the owner of the church. He's the one directing. Uh, the church has came to existence for long that I cannot know. Because uh, I was a layman just like you. When uh, I had an encounter of the uh, Holy Ghost, Christ himself, telling me that the, 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 the eyes a, 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 a damage to Christendom that I need to go and give them a, a new dimension, a new testament because they have gone astray. That I should go and warn them, I should go and preach the gospel. That was why I, the God of White Corny appeared to me. On, my, on that dream, I saw an old man that appeared to me that told me. And I was going, he was moving on the firmament, he was moving, and he, he met me, and I knew that he said he wanted to send me an error. As he stretched his hand above the fire, there came a fire that came upon me. I began to speak in tongue, I began to prophesy. Whenever I stretched my hand, miracle began to happen. I, I prophesied, I foresee what is, what is going to happen, and the power became over me. He said, he now said, I will send you an error. I will send you, I will, uh, and he tell me that, go and kick against this, go and tell them that they have gone astray. And he said, I should go and silence the demon. That's why we moved to every place. He said, silence the witches. There is no witches, there is no witcher, there is no any terrestrial power. I moved from one place to another, facing camera from all people all over the world. That is, if there is any power in the world, let them silence me, let them shoot their arrow. That's how you are, I used to say. To to let them know that Christ himself have appeared. Later we start, the, the ministry people, people began to come, pastor began to, to join the ministry. The ministry started from uh, Modaike years, uh, years back. We have our, we are, uh, our places there and we move across the, the country. It is Christ that can explain better because he's the founder. No, no, I, I, I will say, I, 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 if it is something like that, I will say absolutely, absolutely no. Because I ever think about that. I ever think about that. I have not for once think about being a pastor. I am a, someone like you. I am aiming of becoming a philanthropy. 
That's a be Amy Obila. Never think of it. Never think of it. Even though, even though, if anyone refuse such a fission to me, I will quickly kick against it because I'm not someone who who believe in that. I kick against all those things. I kick against uh, before, but before the Lord, what? When I was young, when I was young, I used to see visions, but I just know the meaning. I used to see visions. The Lord, you. I used to dreams. I used to. Uh, they, they have started seeing the traces in me. Because all what I do, they will see that this is a man of God. But I will kick against it because I don't like it. Let me narrate a scenario. When I finished from a Oba Femi Awolowo, I mean, sir, I was uh, on a move that I want to travel out. I have a business that I'm, I was doing then. But my aim was I want to travel. And I've, 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 I have everything done that I want to travel. And I, when I was, I said, the, the interview, I will, I will appear in the embassy, so, so. and I had a dream. When the Lord revealed a revelation to me that you are not going to go because I'm sending you an error. And I faced some certain challenges by then that I could not see. I could not see. My eyes just went blind. And I could not see. And an so, a, a, a angel appeared to me. That was why he gave me an instruction and uh, I could see. That was the worst time I stayed in Osogo. Then we are someone who is mentally the came, enter and try to behead me. I was I have cuts across my body, but the Lord still saved me. But uh, he still telling me, but I don't believe in it. I don't because I don't like it. But when I got before I got to the embassy, the Lord told me that you are you are not going to make it. You are not going to be. Don't go. I want to send you another. I have a, a, a great assignment for you. I, I didn't believe it. He said, I should go and establish a power power program. I said, no. I now invite someone and I gave him the leader of that uh, program. I let, let, when I got to the interview, when I got to, to the embassy, uh, when you have been to the uh, U.S. embassy in the, in the Lagos before, you could discover how they, they arrange the action. There was a particular white woman. The I've gone through the biometric, gone through the so 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 so. That was bad. And the spirit of God told me, "Look at that woman. Is the one that will send you back." I said, "No. I was rebooking that space. That the spirit of the man leave me, leave my body. It cannot. It can never be done. It can never be done." That was what I said. But when I got to, he, he, he directed the first question. The second question I answered. The third question I said, "Can you come again?" But I don't. as I answered that question, he said, "He now gave me a rejection." I started cursing now. Rainy course on that. But when I left the place, the Spirit of God told me that she only served what I sent her to do. I was crying. It was when I got home. The message came. The message began to, to come to me. Message, he would tell me, go and deliver the message to so so so. Go and deliver the message to, to some prophet, to, 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 to the king. I started. Later, I, I got to the conclusion that had they been, I find myself in that place, I, I could have become a non-profitable child of, uh, of God because of what many people that the Lord sent me to. Those who are adding criminal, those who have gone astray, I started to deliver the message today. First of all, I want to appreciate God. When you are being called, there must be a challenges. Our Savior, our Master, the Creator, the uh, the, 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 the finish at the beginning and the finish of our faith face some certain challenges. In fact, if there is no challenges, there won't be glory. I call challenges as a, a step to glory. You know, uh, being a graduate of two schools, but I don't use to say it, being a graduate of two schools, I might have been expecting something. But uh, there was a time I have two or three offices that I'm using, that I'm using as an office. Everything became, everything got, uh, got collapsed. The, the, the disease system, everything collapsed. I, I didn't have anything to eat for it. Later, the, uh, my parents came about giving me another money. They, were contrib they contributed money up to 500,000 by then. I don't know how the money got disappeared. Let me tell you, I was a victim of those, those people. During those times, they said they want to sell, sell a slot for me. But how we see that all what you are doing is not going to fulfill. I paid the money to them then. He collected the money. I'm waiting for them that they, they should come in for the uh, for interview. No interview. 
and I paid him, she amount. No interview. Well, am I going to talk about the different attempts that have, they have made upon my life? There was a time, as I said, I could not see. Not see the way people are seeing. The, I went blind. It was God that hid me. There was a time I was attacked. They wanted to be at me. A little about, uh, apart from that, and they criticized it when the Lord called me. When, when the Lord called me. But the, the dirty, we are very different in this show. There yeah, are things that made us different. The old man I was talking about, God, gave us doctrine. He told me that they have gone astray. They have gone astray. You have to go and preach against them. They have started to present themselves, not presenting me. Go and tell them that I am the owner. I am the alpha. I am the omega. Do I tell them that there is still a power in my name. You can still perform me wonder. You will see people nowadays, you see churches. There won't be a difference between church and the club house. There, there, there will be a little difference between prostitutes and those who refer to themselves as a Christian. He now sent me to go. But when I go, he began to give, give, give me instruction. The message I will speak, the points I will defend, and everything like that. Look at the doctrine. He said, anyone that sinned, after being baptized, and you now move back to your wayward life. You see, you have to, you have to confess. Just according as it has been written in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 20. That you should remove those who sin before the congregation so that it could serve as a lesson. Detail them for others. Look at the pastor nowadays. They, they will easily commit adultery and they will be there. There is no way you can partner with Christ Jesus, either with Christ Jesus and at the same time eating with the devil. Any church that you refer to as yours is not church, but a business center. A business center. And there is a difference between a business center and God Christ. And the Lord told me that, look, and I look and he said, I see little in my way. Little. People are no more coming. The kingdom of God are no more gaining. And I, I could remember I was asking a question from that angel. And I said, we have many churches. Why is you, people coming to your way are too slimy? Why, is, why do we have a little? He said, look, they have a connection with the church of Satan. Go and look at every prophecy we have released. They have a connection. Majority of church, you see, they are not belong to God. Any churches that you see that are calling the name of their funny hero, they are not belong to God. Any churches that are doing ritual, they are not belong to God. They are performing ritual. They are presenting a concussion on St. Jackson. They are not belong to God. People don't know. But you will identify them by the spirit that the Lord has put in you. What differentiates us is that we, here we use authority. When cross was alive, he didn't tell the people that before I pray for you, go and, go, go and be fasting. He will pray for you. When he pray for you, the power will come upon you. When the power will come upon you, is then you will be performing wonder. Is then you can you can fast. But can you can you say when you have uh, someone that is mentally unstable and you want to pray for him, said go on, go on, go on three days fasting and prayer. Is that possible? But you as a pastor, you as a man of God, you must have it. Of which we teach our people. Let me tell you a scenario that first happened when the program came. People began to recognize the church because of the signs and wonders that happened. They brought someone who could not walk, who could not, who could not walk, who could not, she could not talk. It, is, it was fortunate that the, the appearance is a traditionalist. And part from the father's side, mother's side is a Muslim. They took her to the mountain. And the Lord told me that I've in her. And I said, the Lord have in you. He said, I should, I, I should lift her up. And I lift her up. I said, the Lord has lifted you up. He, he, he began to walk. And I see, and people were rejoicing. We are clapping. We are clapping. We, we haven't seen this. We haven't this. Just a typical. We are different. Because if you see here, you have to confess. And we are using the power. Every little member in this church, they can liberate. They can deliver people. In the, in the in this church, we are not collecting money. The, my, the, the, the owner of the church told me that if uh, if anyone raises money, fund 
You hear that? Who can give me this also? -so? Who can eh, let someone come and buy this anointing oil for this also? -so? Such a person will be, will be damned. It is a lot of collecting money. If you want to pay to the church, you are not going to do a show. -up. They will drop, maybe they will drop a box or yeah, you will go and pay. No one will call for the money. No one will dance to, to collect offering. He gave us an earthly standard. Earthly, earthly doctrine. And no one should prophesy. For, for, under the guise of any spirit except the, the spirit of God. Maybe you, you prophesy carnally. You, 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 you speak what the Lord is not speaking through you. Such a person will be damned. We are different in time of many things because the owner of the church is Christ himself. If anyone refers to himself as the owner of the church, as a founder, such a person will die. And if you want to make a leader, it is true prophecy. It is the Lord that will reveal it. That this is a leader. If I die now, if I die now just a face, it's not going to be my, my, my son that we, that we, that we come out and the church is the God that will say, this is the uh, leader. The, the problem we have nowadays is that people don't know the meaning of Christ. That's the problem people well, that's the problem people are facing. Because the word tight, people have been misusing it. The word tight, because they don't have the knowledge of it. If you are paid tight, you are not paid to me. According to the book of uh, Malachi chapter 10. Malachi chapter 3. Starting from uh, uh, verse 10, you will discover the Bible says, Bring God tight to my church. To my church, if you are paying tithes, you are not paying to me. You cannot pay tithes to my account. If you are paying tithes to my account, it's my personal money. You are not paying tithes because you want to reflect it. You want me to know that you are paying tithes. If you are paying tithes and I'm knowing that you are paying tithes, if I'm giving you card to monitor you, you are not working for me, you are working for God. Those, there are people who are supposed to pay tithes, not everyone. Those who believe that, that all what they receive, they receive it from God. If you embezzle money, Politically, and you are painted, it's not acceptable. You do money ritual, you are painted, it's not acceptable. Not if anybody can kick against it that it's not, or uh, uh, tight is not. Uh, they are not taking it from God. It's good to pay tight, but tight must pay. Pay, no one must know. You pay, you bring your tight, you pay it directly to God. That's the first thing. And the second aspect is that how do we pay tight? You are talking about self. You, as a worker, for example, you are collecting uh, 50,000 naira. 50,000 naira now, or 100,000 naira per se. 10,000 naira is not, it's not a tithe, for, for God's sake. People think because you are collecting money, 10,000. 10,000 should be your tithe because you collect 100,000. 100, uh, 100, no! You have, to, you have to do what? You have to force of force, maybe your, your, your expenses. At the end of the month, you spend 10,000 naira for eating, for transport. You first of all remove that 10,000 naira. Remain how much? Remain 90,000 naira. You now divide that 90,000 naira into 10. That's your tithe because you still have to send your children to school. That's the first thing. The second aspect maybe you are a businessman. You have a 5 million naira to establish your business. You establish your business and you now make a profit of 1 million naira. You first of all remove the capital. Because if you pay out of the capital, the business will collapse. When you remove five, uh, your five million, make it one million naira. It is after you remove all the expenses, it is with that profit you will divide by ten. That is the profit divided by ten. That is what you pay. And the, I'm next because I'm also paying tax too. I pay tax, but I don't want to know whether you pay tax or not. No member can tell me that I've questioned him or whether you paid that. I don't want to know the amount you paid. I'm next because I'm paying too. And if you are paying, I don't want to know. Because we pray for everyone in general. The gospel of Christ Jesus is not about money. You cannot monetize Christ. The gift of God cannot be sold. If you are selling the gift of God, such a person will be destroyed. Maybe you are selling because before someone could see you, they have to pay. Such a person is not from Christ. You trust the person is going to air. That's all. It's true there are fakes. There are many fakes. 
even when we see the 90 90 percent of uh, ministers of god nowadays they are fake many of them might be called by god but at the same time you're so done your processing you might become fake the first thing any physicians any revelation that is not in accordance with the bible is fake when you are doing this out of the bible you are becoming fake that's first thing and then what we must know is that the spirit of god must be dwelling in you before you could recognize the fake christ jesus is our alpha and omega is the one as our mother is the one we are looking at anything that is not in line with christ standard is a fake nowadays it's a fake when supposing now someone comes to you and you said let me pray for you you have to buy uh, 21 candles before you could do something how many candles can you can you use to give a light of the day or a light of the sun or a light of the moon? did jesus command people to be using candle and you are buying spiritual weapon spiritual you go to the fracture something say i want to buy spiritual uh, spiritual ingredients did jesus christ said you the spiritual ingredient what are the word of authority anyone that doesn't prostrate the life of christ jesus is a fake when you look at the, what is happening nowadays you could discover that you can hardly recognize difference between the business center and the church of god any church that the gift of god is not present let me tell you for instance if i am a as a, as a prophet if i can see angels in the church if i'm prophesizing the best church member we must see larger percent of them who will be prophesizing if i'm seeing visions they must be seeing it too if because if i'm the only one that is seen it then i will lie to you because everyone according to the book of Jesus, chapter 2 first uh, uh, first 28 to 29 behold in the olden day i will pour out my spirit people people are pe people when your life is not tied with the christ standard when the gospel of someone is not in accordance with the gospel of christ you are a fake because christ said in the book of john chapter 14 verse 6 i am the way the truth and the light no one comes to the father except through me and the jesus christ is an alpha and omega any anything that doesn't portray christ jesus it doesn't it, it, it seems not good for what uh, when we're talking about a true church of god a true church of god possesses all attributes when you are a true the apostle Paul said you shouldn't mock the gifts of prophecy he was prophesizing when you look at the church of the olden days they were prophesizing a true church must possess those attributes if you said the church belongs to god god must speak to you but when god see from speaking to people the church is not from god anymore Prophecy is a cogent sin. Prophecy, there are types of prophecies. There are traces of prophecies that the Lord gives to us. I believe in prophecy because I do prophesy. We do prophesy. We do foresee. Go and see a lot of prophecy that this ministry have made. Recently, the ministry prophesies about the emergency of a, a president, uh, the, the president president. Bonatinubu, you could see that it is this meaning that gave hundred percent prophecy. He said, "The man will be matched, whether you like it or not." It was a command statement, declarative. Whether you like it or not, the Lord said it will be matched. Prophecy is uh, uh, prophecy is not something you can you can give for people to to, to please people. Because you like people, you now give prophecy. It's not that one. Prophecy might be the handwritten of God. Handwritten of God. What is the Lord saying? What is it going to happen? So that you cannot be tax fake. You know what the Bible says? Uh, God was telling them, when a prophet speaks, and what he says, it doesn't come to fulfillment. Do not hesitate to stone such a person. And when you are prophesying, care must be taken that who is speaking to me because the angel of darkness also prophesies when you are prophesied in order to collect money you will you will be disgraced 
When you are prophesied in order to entice people, it doesn't necessarily mean you must prophesy always. But you must speak the mind of God. We are during the time before Queen Elizabeth died. The Lord said it during, in this ministry. Go and look at it. It's on YouTube, it's on Facebook. That he has passed through that country. That he, have, oh, he has overstayed. That I have, I have put an end to his work in life. That is prophecy. Prophecy is good. But when you now go out of content, when you want to present yourself, you will be tax speak. Because when you are prophesying on behalf of God, you must let people know that God is saying this, not you are saying it. Not you are showcasing yourself. Not you are showcasing yourself. But when you want to showcase yourself, you will be, you will be disgraced. You, prophecy is the handwritten of God. What will happen? What has happened? And what is going to happen? At the angel of the darkness, do prophesy to. You know those people who, are, who made a fake prophecy because they want to entice people. But there are things in, in prophecy. Authority follows. When you don't... Uh, the, the person that carried the highest authority carry the highest prophecy. The many of all my prophesies, the one that carried the authority will swallow all those, uh, all, all those, all those things. That's all. Nigeria is not a problem if they can obey. If they can obey Christ. Don't forget, there was a prophecy that brought you no know, to the power. We, we said, we say, the Lord said, I'm choosing this man to correct the mistake of the other. I'm choosing this man to liberate people. I'm choosing him for favor to go and listen to it. We gave the prophecy on July 13 last year that he will be in March. And he will be mad to correct things. He will be mad that he will not be a savior, but we clear the road for the savior. That there are things that will happen. The Lord has given him an instruction to follow. When we're talking about the leaders, when we're talking about the countries, leaders have their own role to play. Followers have to, their roles to play. Majority of the followers that we have now, they will be complaining of the leader. When they, they also, they are very, very, they are spoiled. You, have do your, you must do your own part. I must do my own part. The country, the way it's, it has started now, it has, it's, it has started listening to the instruction of God. But if it miscalculated, there might be a problem. I reveal when I was granting an interview recently, I told them that Lord revealed something to me that I said, out of the appointee, the president has nominated, they are escaped uh, black goats among them. There are black ghosts now. He must move beyond political uh, arena and listen to God and, and choose those who will work with him. Because all blame will, will go on him. But the Lord will refrain. If he listen to what the Lord has uh, stipulated, though there are fake people that will come to him, majority of those who have given a fake prophecy now, they are now started praying for him. They are praying that you that didn't carry anything when, when they were giving a fake prophecy. Many said there won't be election. Go and look at the prophecy. The Lord said there will be certainly be election. Go and look at it. We he said this in Yoruba. When we were in Kola Law 2 program, that there will be a program. On January 1 last year, the Lord said there will be election. He said, you know those, those who made a fake prophecy. The Lord said, I want to disgrace them. Because they have gone astray. This, this, the church we have nowadays is no more church. Majority of them are business center. Business center. They are not uh, biblically oriented. They are not spiritually being led. Holy Spirit, we must be guided by the Holy Spirit. We must be followed by the Holy Spirit. If we fail to follow the Holy Spirit, death will, be, death will begin to torment people. That's all. That's good. But look at Nigeria nowadays. By the special grace of God, if the leader follow out the instruction of God, it must be surely, surely come to fulfillment that the Lord promised. You know, we we spoke about the, those who are yearning for uh, for separation of the of the country part of the prophecy that Lord, we, we made when they were yeah, there will be separation. We are going away. It's not yet time. We have released such a prophecy for long that part of them will be captured. Part of them will be used for sacrifice. 
and a part of them, the Lord said, I will spare part of them. Majority of them, if you know what, they don't know, majority don't know where are they coming for the separation of the country. They just follow them. But it's not yet time. There are many people who are, come, who are still coming to rule. Many people who are still, they are still coming to rule. Don't join them. If you are joining them, you are wasting your time. And you are facing, you are, you are facing God, you are challenging God in battle. It's not yet time. There are people who will be ruling. Is there when you look at that prophecy, it's on our page, and then we also drop the prophecy. There are, uh, the, there are national paper that uh, the, the, the prophecy was uh, publicized, like a punch and some other newspapers were there when you go go it. And after when after the man has won, they were the were argument that it's not going to be swearing. In. We were, they were, they came to us and we told them that even though the elections is being old for 25 times, it will be in March, that it will be swearing, we, we told them, the Lord told him all what to do. You know, for every leader, he himself, the Lord has given him a book. There is a particular book in his hand. That book, if we could follow it, you will see a new changes. You know, when you look at that book, we said there, is, there was a particular book given to him, agenda. And that's why we see that agenda and we give him another agenda to use. You know, if he has to do that, there are a certain set of people he will have to step upon. He will have to uh, stand up and fight. He will have to look at himself as a leader. Of the nation, not a leader of a tribe. He has to be a father. He has to think. He has to fight. Because the, the fact we start from his home, there are black elements in his home. That is how we use it. He will fight from his home down to, to every part. Not only in Nigeria, but there are, there are people working outside in Nigeria that we have to fight. When he implements what is in it with him, they, they will get to them. They are saying, but the book, the master book, is with him. We sure hope you enjoyed this video. For more entertaining video content such as behind the scenes of music videos and movies, music concerts, premieres, interviews, and exclusive gists, subscribe now to our YouTube channel Goldmine TV and be unleashed into a world of super excitement.